Well, Indianapolis is in a public safety crisis. We all know that. That is the declaration now of some IMPD officers during a vote on Thursday. That vote by members of the Fraternal Order of Police comes one day after Mayor Joe Hogsett proposed a $3 million increase in public safety with a goal of enhancing IMPD and boosting various community programs. The president of the FOP says the mayor's proposed investment in public safety is too long term and not urgent enough to address the current and immediate increase in homicides and violence in our city. Here's what they voted on was that it lacks the urgency that's needed right now. Anybody can come out with a proposal that starts throwing money around talking about something that's going to occur months or years from now. That does nothing to address the issue tonight. Snyder also suggests four changes that would make the city safer. First, purchasing a gunshot detection system, equipping police with mobile license plate readers, staffing the city's arrestee processing center with a judge 24 seven and also eliminating low bonds or automatic release for repeat convicted offenders who get out and commit more crimes. Now the funding for the mayor's public safety plan still has to be approved by the city county council. It is expected to be submitted next Wednesday. Will there be any changes? We're going to wait and see. In the meantime, we have posted the entire proposal online as it stands right now. You can read it for yourself at fox59.com.